So there are a lot of video game emulators out there that you can download to emulate retro consoles. Everything from Atari to Nintendo Switch. But if I had to narrow things down to a top eight, well, what do I consider to be the eight must have emulators installed on your PC? Well, let's find out. At one time, there was a battle between PlayStation and Xbox where Xbox was winning. That was during the 360 era, and Microsoft was winning because they had good exclusives, a cheaper console, and a really good console. That was until people started getting the red ring of death. But Microsoft fixed that problem quick and maintained their spot over PlayStation for that generation. So nowadays, why use a console when you can emulate the Xbox 360 games on your PC using an emulator called Xenia? It's a very good emulator that you won't have many performance issues with as long as the games are playable and if you do, then it's probably in the wrong. Nowadays, I love Nintendo, but I will admit, I was a Sega kid growing up, so I was sad to see them leave the console game. The last console they left us was the Dreamcast, which is my favorite Sega console of all time, and also my favorite to emulate. And the emulator I use is ReDream. It's simple and easy to use, which is really nice. It has support for up to 95% of the Dreamcast library and offers easy graphics upscaling. But the only bad thing is that to upscale to 1080p or 4K, you will have to pay a price of $5. But trust me, it's definitely worth it. The Nintendo DS was a very popular handheld and had a large and creative library of games, mostly creative because of the DS having two screens to play around with. Having the two screens enlarged on a monitor is great, it's a lot bigger than the actual screen of a DS, that's why I enjoy playing it on PC so much. There are a few emulators out there that emulate the DS, but the one I prefer is Desmu Me. It's the most accurate DS emulator and allows for increasing internal resolution. Not my favorite PlayStation console, but there were many great titles that were on PS3. And there's a great way to go back and experience these games using RPCS3. Now this emulator is still in development, so don't expect every game to boot and run at 100%. But most of the most popular games that were on the console will run. Also, you will need to install a PS3 BIOS to be able to play games. To get the best settings for your games, there's a site called RPCS3 Wiki that will help you out with that so you can have the best experience possible. Now you can still go out to a store and buy a new Nintendo Switch and their exclusives that never seem to drop in price. But say you have a capable PC of emulating the greatest hybrid console of all time. Well, there's two options on PC to emulate it, Ryu Jinx and Yuzu. The emulator that I recommend is Yuzu. Now, you will need to dump or find firmware to get this up and running, and that may be the hardest part. But the best part is being able to upscale Switch games to 4K and play with the frame rate to run games at a smooth 60, something we don't get the experience on Switch too often. Now this next emulator will give us the best of both worlds. I'm talking about the Dolphin emulator, an emulator that can emulate the GameCube and Wii. My favorite feature about this emulator is that you can upscale to full HD at 1080p. And man, those GameCube and Wii games really look good even by today's standards. Also, you can buy a device called a Dolphin Bar from Amazon that can actually become a Wii Sensor Bar for your PC. That will allow you to use real Wii remotes with your PC, giving you a real Wii experience.
My favorite console of all time is the PlayStation 2. It has one of the best game libraries of all time. Now imagine replaying all those classics with 1080p or 4K graphics and being stretched to 16 by 9 aspect ratios if you prefer. Well that's all possible with an emulator called PCSX2. This is a top-notch emulator that offers custom resolutions and upscaling, save states, a patching system, and control of your FPS. And nothing's better than going back and playing all those classics, even trying out games that you never got to play. I love it. The one emulator to rule them all is RetroArch, or some people say RetroArch. Besides PS3, Switch, and 360, you can emulate every console within this one emulator. So this makes everything a lot cleaner instead of having multiple emulators all over your desktop or on a hard drive or SSD. Now the RetroArch interface isn't that pretty, it can sometimes be a little confusing, and there are a ton of emulators that are called cores to choose from for individual consoles. But I will say, some standalone emulators still work better than the ones within RetroArch, but overall this is a great way to keep your retro collection organized and playable in one place. If you need any help setting up any of these emulators that you've seen in this video or more, make sure to check out my channel page or check out the description below for my guides. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully I will catch you in the next one. Peace. At home, take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. Way back before we blew it all. Take me back to a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. Way back before we blew it all. Too many things going on. I can't keep track of them all. From people dropping a bomb to people putting up walls. I feel like life is on haul. Perception stuck in a vault. I know that time can heal all. But how much time till we fall? It's awfully chilly outside. When there's no shelter to hide. When everything is a lie. You'll find that out in some time. But when the things on your mind are all considered a crime. Communication aside, we'll all just fight till we.